What's going on YouTube? It's Bryce. And Jessica. And today we're doing our first reaction video. It's going to be to the most inappropriate messages in kid shows. And the original owner is The Richest. And we're going to have the link um, to the original video down in the description below if you want to check that out as well. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it. And it's supposed to be just messages in kid shows that are hidden, I guess, that are supposed to be inappropriate. So we're going to check it out. The most inappropriate and messages again, this is made in by the kids' shows. We'll have the link in the description below. Rude removal, Dexter's laboratory. For a kids' show aimed towards five to eight-year-olds, Dexter's lab pushed its boundaries. It aired an episode about Dexter and his annoying sister Dee Dee mistakenly dividing themselves into rude and behaved versions of themselves. We see Dexter mooning oh, the viewers and Dee Dee giving oh, the finger. God. I used to watch yeah. that show. Blame it on Lisa, The Simpsons. The Brazil Tourist Bureau threatened the makers of the 13th episode of the 15th season of The Simpsons after they displayed Brazil as nothing more than a rat-infested, crime-ridden slum. The creators of the show were actually quite surprised that out of all the countries they parodied, Brazil did not share in their dark sense of humor. Mm -hmm. One beer, Tiny Toons. Nice to For a lighthearted cartoon, the Looney Tunes spin off made a brash move when they decided to animate the young Toons stealing a beer from their parents. Immediately, they become drunk, grow stubble, hit on their toddler aged female friends, and camp out in dark alleyways. Beauty and the Beach, Pokemon. Misty decides to enter a bikini contest. Team Rocket enters the contest as well to prevent Misty from winning. Even James entered the contest wearing an inflatable bodysuit that oh gives the appearance God. of fully mature breasts. He taunts the prepubescent Misty by saying, maybe when you're older, you'll have a chest like this. Can you say child sexualization? Don't whiz on the electric fence, Ren and Stimpy. The show in itself typically goes very far, but in this episode, Stimpy finds a new best friend who ends up destroying Ren's most treasured personal belongings. Ren becomes so outraged that he threatens them both by saying he'll gouge their eyeballs out and rip their lips out of their faces. I'm gonna tear your eyes out of the socket, mate. Carrot Blanca, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny manages to trick Yosemite Sam into locking himself in a prison cell. Yosemite faces a rather bulbous cellmate with bulging midriff and pretty pink bunny slippers gesturing that there's only one bed in their shared cell. The subtlety is out the window once we gaze upon the cellmate's nobody can hear you grin. Bugs just sentenced poor old Yosemite to an eternity of That's prison rape. Get away with. <laughs> Helga's love poem to Arnold in Hey show? Arnold. Yeah, we all remember the secret affection Helga had for Arnold, even though she was also the worst possible bully ever towards him. But only in the heart-wrenching confession of a love poem that she writes for him in her diary do we truly understand just what Arnold does to her physically. What? Is this show still oh for kids? <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants' biggest problem. realization. There's a reason why 20-something year olds still find this show pretty Spongebob enjoyable. Everything from Gary catching SpongeBob watching sea urchin porn, to jokes about dropping the soap, and even animating Squidward getting experimental <laughs> with one of his tentacles. There are adult jokes planted everywhere. But can we talk about how the crusty crab is in bikini bottom? Electric Soldier Porygon, Pokemon. When Pikachu blows up some missiles in cyberspace, the animated explosion resulted in strobing red and blue lights. Each Pokemon episode is 30 minutes long, which means that this episode managed to hospitalize a child every 2.5 seconds due to seizures, nausea, dizziness, and blurred vision. This symptom has now been named Pokemon Shock. Hooker in Toy Story. 
We're adding this moment in as a very honorable mention because yes, there was in fact a hooker in Toy Story. Can you see it in this screenshot of the Abomination Toys? Yes. <laughs> this is in fact a hooker. That's funny. I was like, why? There was? Well, that was pretty interesting. I've never really noticed, and it's weird when you actually look for the things and then you can, you know, actually find them in there. But that was the most inappropriate messages in kids shows. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's pretty was... weird. I don't, I don't know how they get away with all that. Right. But uh, once again, if you guys want to check out the original video, it will be in the link in the description. We're going to be doing a lot more of these as well. So if you did enjoy it, go ahead and press that like button for us. Um, and also subscribe if you're enjoying the channel and make sure that you check out some of our other videos um, on our channel as well. So, but until next time, we'll see you guys later.